Now to our first look at the stunning firepower Hamas used to attack Israel last week. The weapons recovered offer a sobering look at what Hamas could bring to bear to fight off an incursion. Raf Sanchez reports. Tonight, a first look at the deadly arsenal Hamas terrorists used to storm into Israel and a sign of the firefight that lies ahead. Hamas fighters burst through the border fence equipped not just to kill civilians, but also to fight off Israeli tanks and helicopters. Here, a terrorist fires a rocket-propelled grenade. We saw dozens of the same weapon today at an Israeli military base, where arms recovered from Hamas fighters are being analyzed. Rockets, mines, shoulder-fired anti-aircraft missiles, and a magnetic bomb that sticks to the side of a tank. They brought around 2,000 terrorists in here with hundreds of vehicles. This Israeli major spoke with us on the condition we not use his name. Does any of this indicate the direct involvement of Iran? Not yet. Most of the munition that you see here is a local produ production of Hamas. Despite Israel's strict blockade, this Hamas video shows it still makes weapons inside Gaza at factories like this. This is a thermobaric bomb which creates heat instantly up to 3,000 degrees Celsius. The Israeli military says Hamas terrorists use this to incinerate entire families. For all their weapons, Hamas is still badly outgunned. And it has no answer to Israel's overwhelming air power. But on the ground in Gaza, they'll have a home field advantage, an elaborate network of tunnels designed to allow them to pop out and ambush Israeli troops. A looming battle that promises to be brutal. And Raf, we've heard a lot about these tunnels that Hamas has dug. Does Israel have a way to deal with them? Lester, Israel has specialized sensors to detect them underground, and it uses so-called bunker buster bombs to try to take them out from the air. But some of these tunnels are nearly 100 feet deep and very difficult to destroy. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.